Okay, thank you all so much for joining us. We are Gamer Gals or Go, and we are hell. Are we hell? Hell? <laughs> we are hell. <laughs> we are Welcome hell. Welcome to our <laughs> <No>. nightmare <laughs> cartoon fish. We hope it doesn't scare you. Um, right. So I am Kelly. Marine. Uh, okay. Yes, one of two Kellys this this week. That's yes. true. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, hey, it's me. I'm Kelly, uh, also known uh, colloquially on the internet as Poke Kells or just Kells. So we could just be Kells today to differentiate. Well, I, I will ignore <laughs> any reference to my name being Kelly, and I will only be Kells for this recording. <laughs> uh, thank you. So That's to make very things helpful. Easier, so we can just be Kelly and Kells. So we don't I have feel to be like, like normally. Because, yeah. I yeah. Just, like you know. in elementary school, we had three. We had Alex G, <laughs> Alex S, and Alex V, and we had to call them each by their name plus the last name. And but you know what? We don't need to do that here. We don't need to do that here. We can be. We can be out of elementary school today. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Normally, I feel like I would be at least at an elementary school level. But again, two point five hours of sleep. Thanks again, Poltergeist. <laughs> oh, is this guy Sid from Toy Story? Uh, oh, yeah. This is all part of the Pixar thing. Okay, this has to be the same people, or that is a, a copyright infringement reference. <laughs> oh, to I Am Bread? It's the titular bread from the, the I Am Bread game. This oh. game, by the way, is called I Am Fish, reportedly. It did not appear oh. on the title screen. I yes, really wouldn't. Is there something in it? Is it? Okay, yes, explain life. to me I Am Bread. I have not ever, I've, I've never actually played that game. So is um, I Am Bread like some kind of like bread sim? Okay, it's like, are, are you familiar with Octodad? Yeah. Oh, I love okay. Octodad. Imagine if Octodad had eight fewer limbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's great. Right, so you're just a, a hunk of bread rolling around? Well, usually a slice of bread. Um, mm -hmm. Which, uh, the fact that the bread starts out as a hunk here, I haven't played I Am Bread. I'm just, like, vaguely familiar with it. Mm -hmm. And it's contemporaries. The fact that it starts as a loaf here is troubling. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like, like um like starfish when you break well i guess that doesn't because oh. like when you have one arm of the starfish you, and you said break that it and then it happened immediately oh my god they broke the bread we've broken bread here it's broken my um, brain because <laughs> like if you're gonna base something on a pixar movie of course i'm going to be assuming that everything is anthropomorphic and has feelings that clock it's getting smaller is and really smaller. sad i think it does i think the bread does feel like it's time is running out and all the fish are eating it so does that mean the sentience of the bread is going into the fish oh my lord Ooh. yeah that's... they've been animated oh that's wild oh, i mean I like in the biblical one. sense <laughs> <laughs> um yeah like it... a golem <laughs> like the sweetest little golem. golem. <laughs> the sweetest little golem. Um, here we go. That's the sentient piece of bread. That's the last bit. I'm eating it. Yeah. It's plus one to intelligence. Honestly, <laughs> a very cute little fish. I love it. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that they, they've made absolutely uh, no effort to hide the fact that, that they just like that scene from Finding Dory and thought it would be a fun platform game. So... I don't. It's not like calling them out to say that this is Finding Nemo inspired. <laughs> what scene from know, Finding that's Dory? Cute. The Dory is in Finding Nemo. Oh, I, don't I remember. Know if you've seen it. I've She's seen the both. Blue one. I've seen both. <laughs> if you don't remember, you might want to watch it again and relate to Dory. <laughs> <laughs> I like Finding Dory a lot. It's very sweet. Watch it on a date. Yeah. It's a, it's a movie that is about disability, and no one seemed to notice that, even though literally every character showed up to introduce themselves and their characteristic disability three times mm -hmm. in the movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd be surprised what goes over people's heads. Oh my gosh, I love the little flying fish. I feel like I really flying fish is easy is mode. Huge. Can you play as a flying one? Because it's a platform game. Is it like playing as Peach in Mario 2? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you'll see actually what the main mechanic is in just a little bit. Um, this is actually just the intro part. Little little Mega Man X intro part for you. How is this like Mega Man X, Annie? Uh, <laughs> I played the fish. That's a game theory. It's all, <laughs> it's all it's all a dream happening in Andy's mind, and Andy is playing Mega Man X. <laughs> he does canonically have a Super Nintendo. I know way too much about early Pixar. <laughs> no, my blue my blue favorite. Well, at least they didn't name it. Yeah, that's 
That's true. I said it would be Finding Nemo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll be fine. Oh, oh. Boy, that's a pandemic mood, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, going to be a power fantasy for me. Oh, for crying out loud, I forgot to mute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what app that is. I literally for a second thought it was the main menu music for the game. Like, the map menu. Oh my god, that would be an amazing <laughs> troll. Some, like, itchy-o nonsense game should just use the Discord <laughs> call sound as their menu theme. It would ruin lives. That's incredible <laughs> to say. it would be itchy so it wouldn't affect anybody. That's incredible I for you say to say, Kelly, since you worked on, a, on an itchy Wii U game. Um, an itchy Wii U game? That's the first time anything's been described that way. Well, it wasn't itchy and Wii U. That's true. And now it's only on one of them. No yep. prizes for guessing which one. <laughs> it is the one where um, the residuals are the highest, so... Yes. Oh, this, <laughs> this one do for the fish. This one do it all for the fish. No. They need to make sure the player is properly motivated, I guess. Oh my god, I love this fish. Um... Anyway, the reason I, I work so hard trying to get an animal game is because Kelly works as a, you work as a vet tech, right? Kells, Kells, sorry. <laughs> Kells works for a vet. <laughs> Who? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I'm an anesthetist for dogs and cats and sometimes rabbits and, and birds and other uh, reptiles and things like that. But, probably uh, never, probably yeah. never, never fish, I guess. You know what? You actually, I, I have not personally done fish, but my hospital has done fish. Oh, and, wow. Um, yeah, you put like this little bubbler inside their water. What, actually, it's a really complicated process. You have to have like two different tanks and one of them has to have like the bubbler with the anesthetic gas <laughs> mm -hmm. inside. <laughs> and then you basically put the fish in there. It goes to sleep. You do what you need to do. And then you put it in a recovery tank that has normal water in it. Um, it's, it's wild. It's wild stuff, actually. It's very <laughs> impressive. Um, but a lot uh, but like yeah, a lot I, of medical procedures I've been through. <laughs> in a, like a like a star wars back to tank almost but oh wow like uh, uh but it's wild yeah it's really interesting um uh i like what i do it can sometimes be t tough as you know many jobs can but um all jobs i think to say in different ways i feel like the, the one where you are constantly temporarily bonding with sick animals is tough in a unique way <laughs> yeah yeah, but you know, I do like to, uh, uh, sorry, I just got distracted by this fish with the big eyes rolling across the floor. Oh my god. Um, I would, I would say though, that is the best part is temporary bonding with some beautifully nice, wonderful creatures. I mean, obviously, like I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't absolutely love animals and they shock and charm me every single day, like oh. literally every day. They have so much more personality than many people attribute them to having. Wow, look at those plants. <laughs> I was with you at more personality than many people. Could have stopped right there. Oh, late title! Heck yes! Hey. That's a power move right there. That's brand confidence. We love it. It's very cinematic. Um, I guess it's also when you're not confident, if you want to remind the player what you called the game, but <laughs> we'll go with confidence. Now these uh, window, or not window plants, house plants, out outdoor plants, I guess they are, but they're they're looking good. I do yeah. like me a good plant. I, I really easy. like this game. Okay, pretty, here pretty we go. Basic like that. <laughs> pretty, uh, yeah. pretty human like that. We like plants. I like a plant. <laughs> <laughs> Just like every human being. Like to see it, like to experience it, like to think about it. <laughs> I don't understand how you get up to these glowing things. There's no oh, button. Oh, you get them. It, it. You collected it automatically oh. when you got near it. Oh, okay, great. Love it. Yeah, um, very friendly. So, the other reason I. Uh, Oh, I can hear voices. Oh no! Oh, well, we're gonna find out what happens. What? Yep. Do we shat? Oh no! Oh. Fish shattered. Fish dies. And here's the physics part. Yep. <laughs> oh. Respawn. You died. You didn't even like pass out. You died. Yeah. There, weren't, there wasn't much time, you know. Uh, what's gonna happen to a fish out of water when it shatters? The bull shatters, not the fish. I guess the fish would also shatter, that's very sad. Um, fish out of water on hot dry land. People ain't fish, so they can't understand. <laughs> is that a song or is that something you're making up? Uh, that is a song from, uh, I believe, the Chuck Jones, uh, Dr. Seuss adaptation uh -huh. of 
I want to say the Lorax. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Love Chuck Jones. Who doesn't? I love how careful you're being now. Just <laughs> It's a it's a kind of you got to be careful with this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it's oh, it's a, are we in San Francisco? No. No, that's not the same. We're in San Francisco. We're in San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco. <Frisken. laughs> I, mean, I am impressed though with uh, how beautiful the city looks and how like yeah, neat. Nice. Like in the pet shop, you can still see the lights inside. It's oh, really wow. beautiful. I like yeah. the clouds. I think the yeah. guy at the beginning had a British accent. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was only half paying England. attention because I was worried that you were going to assign me a voice. <laughs> nope. Fully voice acted. No voice mm. acting for Kelly M today. <laughs> it's not gonna stick, Annie. <laughs> um. Well, I will for today. I really like that refraction effect. Like you in can the find an ant with that oh, on the ground. Yeah, on the oh ground. my god, you bowl. could. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Scientifically, I say go accurate. down the roof. I say go down the roof. I think I'm trying. I'm it. trying. None of this game is. You need more. more. Oh, momentum. momentum. Or oomph. Yes. Look at him go. Yes, yes he's, a, he's a good boy. Do a flip. Yeah. Oh, come <laughs> okay, on. That seems advanced. Oh, oh wait. What if I do... Fall. What if I go on the lower... Here we go. Let me try this. Um, oh, you're off the side. you off the side, maybe. Here we go. Come on, little emo. <laughs> little emo. Um... Oh, 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 no! oh, 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 wow, that's really oh, that's fragile. Good. Oh, fish. there's a mattress there, though. Being yep. Now we know this. Coils. Yep, now it's we know. Try. Now there's we water know. bottles. Maybe. Oh, his eyes slowly closed. So okay. that's the thing about these games. The indie developers, they, they need to, to test these games on like regular human beings and children because this keeps happening. This is, this is, this is cl Kelly's classic game difficulty uh, corner. Where I rant about the fact that the cutest games, like like the game Snake Pass, which oh, yeah. looks like something you would have played as a child without thinking on the Nintendo 64, is actually this like galaxy brain snake muscle simulator that requires like full use of every single vector on both control sticks and, <laughs> and analog triggers at the same time, or your snake just falls down and goes, "Why have you failed me?" And it's just, like, Why are the cutest, most cartoony looking games. The, what, the few that get made anymore are these demanding super monkey ball. Well, I guess that's a good cartoon game too, but it's just like, you know, <laughs> maybe at least make the tutorial oh no. area oh. nice and friendly with oh. lots of little puddles. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. That was close, but that was good. Good job. Thank you. This is cool because it's like a Rube Goldberg. I mean, is that how you say it? Yep, that's, yeah, that's his name. Goldberg. Very good, very good. Yes, I and and those are so satisfying to watch. I like to watch like compilations of those things. Yes, it's so, um, so nice. my very very favorite. There's a segment on a Sesame Street style show in Japan called Pythagoras Switch. Oh wow! And oh, Pythagoras Sui. Yes, Sui. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I love I'm, this. That, that, I've seen a couple episodes of it, and it is so cute, and it's so delightful. And, uh, also, uh, I recommend, as long as I'm recommending, uh, this is very specific, foreign Rube Goldberg devices that are satisfying to watch, <laughs> Der Lauf der Dinge. I think I'm saying uh -huh. that right. It's German. <laughs> and it I is, can tell. <laughs> in my memory, it's damn near feature length and chef's kiss. Wow. Dang. Oh no. Oh, I no. mean, leave it to the Germans, right? I feel like that's fair to say. Please don't shatter. Oh no. Oh, oh well, my god. We learned. At least he doesn't seem like visually too put out by it. I mean, he's and he dead. doesn't like scream he's, like a Japanese. He, his eyes are closing. Slowly. Yeah, but he, mm. you know, he's. It could be worse. I'm saying. Yes, it could be definitely more painful. Look, like watch. you know, you know when you when you let Mario drown in Mario 64. Oh. And and he like awful. struggles and grasps at his yeah. throat and then goes slowly limp and the camera just zooms in on him while yep. Bowser laughs and then Unbearable. It's like to his funeral and everyone is, is sobbing. And... <laughs> oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Toad yes. is there giving a eulogy in just a terrible <laughs> voice every single time you drown in Mario 64. We all loved him! <laughs> he was the best of us! <laughs> <laughs> Not as just the rest of us! What? Okay! What did you say? 
Now there's just the rest of us. Okay. And then we sit down and do the entire monologue from the beginning of Mario Party 3. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I also love Mario Party 3. I never played it. At least it has generous checkpoints. Yes, it's good. It's a good game. I feel um, like those bowls are just there to tempt you. Yes. Need to figure out what to do Sirens. here. Sirens. <laughs> um. I mean, anyway, the other is lovely. <laughs> That's nice. It's very nice. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, Annie, oh no, not at all. When will you learn the <laughs> difference between this game's <laughs> shrubbery and the haystacks from uh, uh, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Any... Assassin of Creed. Assassin of Creed. Oh my Assassin lord. I, I mean, I'm with Creed. you. I feel like they should be cushiony, but... It looks like they had kind of a dry season there. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway. Those, those, sparse, those sparse leaves, you know. I'm I'll also gonna out. give it up to the composer of this music because it is not easy to make a song get impressive, like, like increasingly inspirational sounding while also looping for... Ooh, wait, I know what to do. I think I know like what to do. Like a half an hour at a time. I gotta figure this shit out. Um, the, air is the, reason, the reason I know Kelly, of course, is from uh, her and Alex Fasciani's long-running show um, that is no longer going on the That One Video, video Gamer channel shows, uh, or network of shows. Um, That's a long the, title. The, de the Dex. It's a short it's title. It's called actually. All of That. It's All of deck. That is the title. The whole title it's, is It's that. just called The Dex. Um, it's, it's the Pokemon <laughs> show. Oh no! I was so close. Yeah. Were you though? <laughs> I, I think I was. I believe I was. I think I was exactly to, what I was supposed to, to do. To the warm embrace of the sharp edges of a terracotta <laughs> pot. Once, <laughs> are you certain that's the solution? I think you know the um. I think the um the the clothespin was leading me right towards it. I think that was it. Pretty... Wait, or yeah, you know, I'm supposed to the go into the arms pin. of that. Yeah, that clothespin right there. Or it's a red herring. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm supposed to go to that other pot that's um, softer. It's got grass in it. <laughs> no, that's oh. not it. Yeah, my, my favorite part of an unfamiliar video game is, is, is when you hear your mouth say something that would be insane, literally, in any other context. <laughs> like, don't worry, the clothespin knows where I need to go. <laughs> I hate it when I can't fart eggs into a totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I had green tea in my mouth. You're gonna make me spit it out. <laughs> Why are you drinking on the job again? Well, <laughs> I stay hydrated. well you can be <laughs> hydrated like before. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, Just an ooh. idea. It's ooh. relaxing. Green tea? Yeah. Not if you spit it out while you're trying to <laughs> maneuver a fish. Well, I didn't expect you to make me larf. Isn't that the whole reason you asked me to do a show with you? Um, yes. <laughs> I didn't think this through. You got me. You got me. You fall into that pot, and then it breaks, and then you're in the water in the pot. Are you stuck there? I didn't know you were... Sorry, what were you saying? Are we saying? trying to... I was just... Are, are we trying to, like, get into the pot and then roll off the top of the pot? Like, get onto it like ice cream cone? You know, I don't well, think that's the solution. That there is water in the pot. Baskets, There's not. Like, it's dry. If we go off onto those baskets, since they're wicker, they might cushion some of the blood. No, we tried know? that already. Um, so wait, like, maybe if it's I go a little faster onto the basket. Yeah, right, you, right, right. it's definitely a lack of velocity that was the issue before. Let's try, try it one that. more time. Try it one more time. Um, um, to be fair... I do know for a fact from GIFs I've seen, uh, later in this game, you do jump in and out of bodies of water. Come on! No! It's just... You might be right. You might have to like go exactly the right speed and land in that. I don't think I do. I think I need to do something else here. I think I do something else. Perhaps maybe it's, perhaps it's still around the other side of that building. Yeah, maybe. I think it is. I I played through this area before. I don't even remember what I did. I think I was high at the time. Maybe. Oh, oh what? What? You've done Whoa! It. Oh yes, the solution was there in front of us the whole Obvious. time. Obvious. So um, obvious. <laughs> which is, I'm not even ask sure I was supposed to do that. yourself what you do if you were high and say you wouldn't, you would say fuck it and just do whatever and it would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Who needs these inviting looking stair step bowls when you can just fling yourself? Yeah, not ten a scratch feet. on it. Look at that. Ten feet when, you know, you're not supposed to go one foot without shattering 
Um, ooh, ooh, oh, ain't ooh. that the truth? What are you, my physical therapist? <laughs> ooh. Nice. Oh, good, that was a cardboard box. Okay, all right, here we are, back in the Rube Goldberg device. Mm-hmm. I feel safe. I feel safe in it. Yeah. In the gutters. <laughs> oh, I got it. Gotta yeah, I often say you can take the girl out of the gutter, but... <laughs> Etc. Hmm. Oh, nice day. I mean, here it's very gray in Philadelphia, in beautiful Philadelphia, <laughs> but... Oh, no! Oh! oh it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It was too sunny in Los Angeles, so I covered the windows. Oh, damn. Well, only because that the sun was like, hey, can I see what you're doing? And like, directly Aww. into my eyes. Just, the, just you know, which is which is an, very nice that it's enthusiastic, but not what I need for the moment. Because I don't yes. want, you know, I was doing that thing where it's like only in one of your eyes, and, and then one of your eyes gets like, hyper bright light and the other eye gets like dark light and then you look at something else and like the yes. colors are all weird oh no oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no 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 okay okay no no you no got it, you got it oh i don't get it. Like, okay. it here's the thing though um so i from california i'm familiar with la and yes the sun can be merciless however you have things like smog there's like a there's like a permanent haze and it doesn't do nice things to the sun but let me tell you there is nothing in my life that prepared me for the experience of it being a very sunny day after it had snowed all night oh my Lord. in a place with clear weather and skies. The sun mm -hmm. just, like, the beams just go down onto the ground, bounce directly off, losing nothing in the process, goes straight in your kitchen window into your eyeball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Reflecting and, off that snowy ice. Yeah, and then you just have to reflect on your life for 10 minutes because you can't see anything. I don't even know how to handle myself in snow weather. Like, for me... Uh, let me tell you, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's purely romance. I'm just like, oh my god, beautiful snow. I've never had to deal with anything negative regarding snow because there's none where I live. None. Uh, never yeah, had. yeah. <laughs> snow was beautiful for uh, two minutes while I was looking at it, and then Sarah was like, go outside, and she took a video of me like you would of a cat or something, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just like immediately folded my paws up. I was like, it's wet on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. It's cold, and it is wet. It is. Pretty, but inconvenient, like many of my favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Um, that reminds me of, uh, Kel, uh, Kels, have you seen The Producers, nice. the Mel Brooks movie? I have not, but I'm vaguely familiar with the premise. And oh my the, lord. The you know what's funny? Um, if you oh, are in oh. LA, you probably have seen the producers of the Mel Brooks movie. Oh my god, you probably <laughs> like have. Like around. Yeah, like probably around. Have. And you just didn't even know. <laughs> I would not notice even if it was like the most famous person in the world because I am so just like number one I watched an entire movie one time and halfway through was like isn't Matthew McConaughey in this and Alex was like yeah he's the main character and I'm like that's Matthew McConaughey that's <laughs> like me. That's I can't me. even do that yeah I can't even do that a different color come on <laughs> so uh, I would not I would no chance recognize anyone of anything in any situation you know, especially if I was at a gas station uh, I thought that that was true but sometimes <laughs> someone has just the energy you totally expect them to have like like i was at six flags magic mountain waiting in line uh for the riddler's revenge shortly after it had <laughs> opened so it was a very long line and uh, <laughs> there was a very very short man there you did uh, it thank you and my friends were like I was like, that guy looks like Seth Green. And my friends are like, I, th I think that is Seth Green. Uh, and, and like, once you say that, the entire line just knows. And everybody turned around like like in a like in a possession movie or something. Mm -hmm. And he immediately like tried to look like like an uninteresting person. Mm -hmm. But but he was he was comically tiny with with a gaggle of, of people. Like just impossibly symmetrical people, you know, the type that are just like mm -hmm. a little too pretty to be waiting in line for the Riddler's Revenge. Yeah. And the thing about the Riddler's Revenge line is um, it's like a huge switchback with one rave song that mm -hmm. repeats. So you have like 25 chances to look him dead in the eye and then pretend you're not doing that and be like, that has got that has got to be who I think it is. But he like what? I know he's small. Like, okay. <laughs> In the director's commentary for Can't Hardly Wait, stick with me, I will land this plane. There is a scene where he's chasing after a romantic uh, interest. It's a, it's a scene that they want you to take seriously. And his character drives like a comically oversized truck. 
But this scene is not meant to be taken as a joke. And he gets out of the truck and he like jogs after her while the music is being meaningful. And, and in the commentary, they point out that they had to put a line of apple crates down and he had to like try to naturally run along them just so that they could what? put them both in the frame. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's so funny. It's so funny that they... I'm like, not making fun of him. I mean, we stay on a short king in this house, but yes, no, sure, that's fine. I was just, I was just more talking about the fact that like there was some, I don't know, weird discussion about like Zendaya and Tom Holland being yeah. Spider-Man and MJ because she's taller than him, and everyone's like, do we really need to worry about that nowadays? But like, it's so funny that in like kind of older movies, like they definitely oh, yeah. worried about it to the point oh, where he runs, on, he runs on apple crates. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's so wild. That was asked to kiss Tom Cruise on camera near <laughs> any object that you could recognize as having a. <laughs> Fine height. <laughs> yeah, it's just so. It's just what what a what an interesting thing. What a strange. What a strange. Yeah, that's why he's always hanging off of mountains because you're like, well, that that mountain could be any size, right? <laughs> you you never knows? see him like hanging out in a door frame kissing somebody. The jig would be up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, that's too funny. So did you ever reconcile creeps. whether or not it was Seth Green? And oh, did it you, absolutely like... was Seth Green. There is no yeah. doubt about it. Uh, 100%. Uh, also, there's an ongoing debate in my house about whether or not we once rode Space Mountain on New Year's Eve with Wesley Crusher, whatever actor plays that oh, character from the Star Trek. Yeah. And I only know that because my girlfriend is the Star Trek person. I, as I believe I've mentioned on the show, am understandably mistaken for someone that watches Star Trek, but I do not. I do mm. not have the attention span, um, basically, is the problem. And the thing is that uh, she was pretty sure that it was him. And then he said that it was him. And she took pictures with him. <laughs> and later, I showed people the pictures. And they're like, that's not him. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I didn't, like, I didn't want to break it to her. Except that it kept coming up. And so then I... So now it has just turned into this gigantic debate. Because, like, you know, he obviously doesn't look like that, that is so funny. character did anymore he, mm -hmm. he had like a cane and a beard and some friends and he the, it was actually very funny because we, we were in line for star tours and he was constantly like looking around the room and making jokes like expecting <laughs> like people to, get to notice mm -hmm. why it was funny that he was in the star wars ride <laughs> <laughs> i think that's to me proof that it is wesley crusher yeah. Right. Well, see, yeah, that's what I would do. That is definitely mm -hmm. what I would do. Because uh, let me, you know, I actually had the opportunity to weirdly go on a hike with Charles Martinet, the guy that does Mario, Mario's voice. Amazing. And he literally did the voice all the time, constantly. Yeah, you, why wouldn't you? Why, why wouldn't, wouldn't you, right? You? <laughs> what? No. Oh, I can't God. imagine a like single human happen. being in the world with joy in their heart that would tell that man to stop doing that. No. Right? <laughs> No, you get him to record your answering machine. You never delete it ever. That's what you do. He's such a joy. As well, Luigi, if you're the best person. True, true. Did you know that, that he, he played like a demon twink in some GameCube JRPG or something? Yes, uh, I did. Doesn't surprise me. Also, he was Parthenax also in Skyrim. He's in I'm Skyrim? In Skyrim. He's, uh, the, he's like one of the dragons, actually. I, I just cool. started playing Skyrim for the first time ever. Um, he Great, you'll meet him. is the Great. principal antagonist of Jet Set Radio Future, and you can hear him at his most maniacal slip into the Wario voice a couple of times. That's amazing. I love that. Amazing. Yeah. I love that. It's good. Wait, so Kels, are you from California? Yes, born and okay. raised. Oh, wow. That's cool. I have, I have left. I, I was going <laughs> to say never left, but no, I definitely have left California. Uh, many, many water. Times. I feel like that might be water. No. Damn, what am I supposed to do here? God, I'm so glad they didn't name him. It'd be so much worse. <laughs> I might find out his Although name. I guess later they on. did, right? His name is Fish. Well, That's he is true. Fish. Mm -hmm. Um, just like uh Keanu Reeves is Neo. Um anyway. What? That's the part of the transcription where I have to DM you in the middle of the night and ask you to spell whatever you just said. I said Keanu Reeves <laughs> is Neo. Oh, I heard bad ribs is Neo. <laughs> bad ribs? Bad ribs as Neo. Like, you, you know, know what? Bad, we, do like, enough bad bad ribs. we do enough John Wick's movies. You'd have bad knees and ribs, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bad knee. Oh, mm. definitely. Go. Definitely feel that one. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. Um, you get to a certain age and you got a bad knee. Oh, Just, believe me, you know, I am yeah. that certain age. I've been that certain age for longer than most, and I'm about to be one of the most certain ages of all. Oh, yeah, you're about to be 40. That's amazing. I am. That's great. That's exciting. 
When's your birthday uh, again? It is July 17th. Exciting. It is very so, exciting for me and Disneyland and no other date in history. Unless you're a big movie of eight uh, movie fan and you love bad movies like Shazam and Eight Legged Freaks and Turbo. Those those came out on my birthday. Oh, Although Disney cool. Disneyland is pretty cool, though. Like, I don't need anything else to happen uh, on my birthday. That's cool. Disneyland is cool enough. I share a birthday and date to the day with Chris and Stewart. Oh, interesting. April 9th, 1990. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have said how old I was. I was going to say, that's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if you share the same social security number. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're exactly the same age. Wow. In fact, tidbit, tidbit. Wow. Not a bad person to share. I'm, I'm actually honored to share my birth date with Kristen Stewart. She's a babe. I'm not. Uh, I'd share anything yeah. with Kristen Stewart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me yeah, too. <laughs> me too. Anyway, um, let's move on from that uh, thirst Thirst portion of our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes! You're gonna make it yes! Good. Excellent mechanic. Oh my god, oh. amazing! Yes, that is so satisfying in any guess Wow, what? I had to applaud because it was so amazing. Wow, excellent. Thank you. Um, Kelly now, Kelly M now lives in Baltimore. Um, from, I do, uh, I do, but guess what, guess what, guess what? What, 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 what? Uh, you did that pretty much right at the 30 minute mark. I know, <gasps> I know. Wow. How good so, is that? Uh, this Can you jump out of the water time. a couple times for me? Let me? Try it. Let me try it. That's just that's the best thing about Echo the Dolphin. And oh my God, yes, that's true. Not enough games have Echo DNA in them. Honestly, if I were the fish at this point, I don't know if the level's over, but don't leave. This is a nice little pond. Yeah, the, I looks love good. That. Yeah, look at the, looks the like predators. You move a little too slowly to jump. Oh, you can make a little I jump. That's so little. nice. Yeah, you gotta get up speed, like, like, like Echo the Dolphin, Annie. You know? I think you can make a little tiny jump. Um, oh, look at the little twirl. Can, do you, can you get points? Does it no. play ska music? Like what? what like Superman by Goldfinger? Or <laughs> another uh, song by Goldfinger? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't believe so. Um, well, then how do you know if you're doing tricks at all? I bet you can't even <laughs> grind the lip of this pool. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Oh, a here we You're go. Supposed to chill it. Oh, oh. oh. all oh, I, drains I love it. to oh, the this ocean. Is, ooh, ooh, this is claustrophobia city over here. No, yeah, thank geez. you. If I were the fish, I would have stayed in that pond. That'd it could be fine. worse. <laughs> apparently, uh, apparently, having the conceit that all drains lead to the ocean in Finding Nemo uh, was inadvertently responsible for uh, many murders. Oh, that, uh, what children? Yes, a lot of children in America. Um, Put their fish wanted in their the... fish friends to be free. <laughs> oh no! We didn't yet teach them the concept of salinized versus fresh water. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, one, no, but, no, uh, no, you know, no! To be fair, that is a tough concept. <clears throat> oh, now we're under the city. Also, even before you get to the ocean, there's like stuff in the way. Mm -hmm. Like this, right yeah. here. Ooh, can you jump it? I think I maybe can. Let's find out. That would be great. Get it. I get it. <laughs> That's a spelling joke. Um, or just a, a res, regular a pun. Spelling joke? Uh, <laughs> it's a regular pun. I don't know why I said spelling joke. Yeah, I did it. Oh, yes. Well yeah, done. that would be Tory Bull. That is a... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what is Tory, Tory spelling? Bull? Never mind. Two and a half hours of sleep, people. <laughs> what is Tory? The, is that a British Tory spelling? Tory spelling? Never mind. Oh, Tory spelling. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, British. <laughs> Never kiss a Tory boy, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Hypodermic needles. Damn. Oh, boy. Brutal. If, if, if you touch the, like, ring, the plastic, uh, yep. <gasps> oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's terrible. Is, yeah. I fucking Babe Ruth that shit. You can barely see it, even. Oh, my gosh. It's so real. Oh, 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 wow. oh you... Oh, you're losing. Oh my! You almost lost consciousness. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> no, I like that you did that right when Annie jumped out of the water, but like the fish was gasping. <laughs> oh my gosh! Get me out of here! It's for dramatic effect. Well, I don't, I don't understand where. I'm oh wait, maybe I'm still here. Another I'd like to end this jump? level before we um <laughs> cut out. Be a good job with this. Uh, uh. That'd be nice. Oh my god, we're Ooh. needles. What is the saw game? You know, the weird thing is how much blood is on those needles. Like, 
having worked with many needles, <laughs> what doesn't like go on the needle like that? I <laughs> like it doesn't did look not like that. I noticed that. I'm not sure. Oh, well, maybe it's rust. They've been in there. Well, hopefully, long. hopefully it is. Damn. That's well, true. In the water too. I bet the blood would dissolve. It's more likely rust. You're right. Oh my god! Oh my god! To... Oh. Oof. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. I would really like to finish this level before we go. Oh you know what's god. funny is this is actually cleaner than the water would be. I oh my god. Oh right. my god. Oh, oh my god. Go. Oh, oh no, oh this god. is adorable and oh, sad. Oh no, it's adorable. <laughs> oh my god damn it. Oh no, you got oh, snagged by another one of those. Oh, this oh. Is so... Always cut your plastic rings. See, this is one of those times when I love that we have these elaborate physics engines, and I yes. realize that's the entire point oh, of the yes. game, and it's so satisfying when you do it. But sometimes I play an indie game these days, and I'm like, "Yo, I know we all have Unity. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can a bitch just get a jump button? Like, <laughs> do I have to like calculate vectors in my mind and control all of my limbs <laughs> all the time now?" And the game dev said, "Yes, you do." And then they made. <laughs> Uh, several games. I don't know why I'm complaining. Lots of games have a jump button. <laughs> it's not like a problem in my life. Yeah, they stopped making Mario. You know that? They stopped making Mario? I'm joking. <laughs> well, I mean, they gotta go home every day, right? Oh, yeah, they, yes, they do. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. temporarily stops making video games, Annie. It's called sleeping. And, and resting. And... and resting. Sometimes they even let um, Japanese Nintendo employees do it. Oh my god. Oh no. god. Oh Thank shit. Goodness. There we go. Wow, that's uh, luck. What well, that's gotta be the, gotta be the end of the level. Oh, gotta it's on casters. No, no, no. I think that you were, uh... Oh shit. It's on wheels. What? This game is so Annie, creative. I think, that's very exciting. I think this game might be one of those huh? games that, that doesn't have load breaks. No, it has levels. Yeah, but I don't I'm saying I'm not sure you're gonna find the end of it. You know you're right. Negative twelve minutes we've got. <laughs> you know you're right. Okay. Anyway. Don't make me run. Okay, I'm gonna squat this I guy. I beg me. your pardon. Okay, this is terrifying. Oh, we're stealing the bucket. Is that? Is that oh no! Oh my god! Oh, this guy's Oh my ass. lord! Oh my lord! Respect your surroundings. Greg. Anyway. Never anyway. Trust <laughs> Never trust, trust Greg. Trust Greg. Oh my lord. Anyway. I'd like to apologize to my brother-in-law who is not watching. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> you seem nice. I liked it when you put your entire face into a macaroni and cheese casserole at a family fun center buffet uh, when I met you. Uh, that was fun. I have a picture Ooh, that's of it. A, that's a nice first impression. That's okay. I stuck my entire body through some bars because uh, my sister said I couldn't fit. <laughs> and I was in my 20s, so, you know, we all make You're choices. Like, well, let me try, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try out of spite. I played too much DDR and got food poisoning. Weird memory. Anyway, <laughs> he seems nice. He pulls out her chair for her and stuff. Look at that. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, <laughs> Kells and Kelly, where can we find you on the internet? Um, I'm around sometimes on uh, <laughs> on, on Twitter at Pokekels, and um, actually recently I've been doing like some crafting streams on Instagram at Red oh, Scale Design. Wow. Um, so uh, I make lots of uh, lo lots of cute little clay guys, and that's um, been very joyous for me. And if you uh, sometimes I'll be uh, sometimes I, I I've done it like three times only. So sometimes I'm on Instagram live streaming those th those times when I make the clay guys, and sometimes I just make them. But they are usually for sale on my Etsy shop, which is also Red Scale Design. That's, That's great. Where you can find me. Mostly. I'll put those in the links in the description. Um, Kelly M. Hi. For the last yes, time. Yes, my la last initial. Um, for the last time until we have Kels on again in maybe a year or something. And uh, um, <laughs> a year. I don't know. That seems That's about. A shame. I don't know. Unless, where unless... we will pick up where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> first time. Sorry, just that uh, Andy. A Andy, whoa. Yeah, Andy and his toys are... I'm so tired. What were we talking about? <laughs> Her internet. on the she show again in one year. Oh, that, that's not a thing. Annie just said that. That's. I don't know where that came from. That's not a thing that we do or have established. <laughs> that is news to me. But happy to have you on again. What was your question for me, Annie? What? Uh, where can we find you on the internet? Um, At Kelly uh, Go Round, right? There you go. That one. Kelly, you go around. 
on Twitter <laughs> and Instagram. Lots of things. If I'm not there, that's on purpose. <laughs> if you find me, I give me a like or something. I don't know what you do. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'll let you go after this. Um, anyway, um, Kels, uh, didn't mean to disinvite you for a year. You know, it just seemed like the appropriate, <laughs> appro- appropriate time in which to give you space. But you can come on and it literally anytime you want. You're wonderful. It's been wonderful. Um, that was I just a good time. I just don't want to overburden you. You know how it goes. Yeah, no, it's uh, fine. You know, we got a room if you need to crash on the couch. We got stuck in Maryland and like yeah. hypothetically your truck breaks down five minutes before we record. You need to back it into the driveway, but the window won't close. I caught you. It's like, don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Amazing. Ran into anyway. a pole when the doors went open. You know, <laughs> thanks for having me. It was, it, it was a good time. I loved watching this little fish on. Yeah, its, you know, uh, real life. Real, real life is the real physics game. That's oh real. That's true. That's true. So actually, so true. Okay. Oh anyway, uh, <laughs> real quick. Whoa, 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 real fast. I uh, gotta say my internet stuff real fast. At Handy Mock, um, on stuff, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, and at Gamer Gals or Go Twitter and Coffee Co. You can find it on whatever dot com slash handy mock. <laughs> uh, Coffee Co. You can find it on whatever dot <laughs> com slash. <laughs> you can find it in the description. Anyway, you can uh, subscribe to <laughs> Gamer Gal Is Go um, membership via Coffee, um, where you get to see Gamer Gal Is Go, my spinoff show, where you get to watch me and my friend Jesse Swanson from Second City play Star Wars Redhead Boy Does Good. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, you're all great. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us. You're pretty cool too, Gal Pal or Pal of the Gals. Gals. <laughs> I'm stopping now. I'm stopping now. Okay, bye. I love See you. you later. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>